they are a firm favourite at bookshops across the country. From the BFG and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory to the Twits and James and the Giant Peach, the work of Roald Dahl has been loved by generations. They are such a popular choice for kids and for parents when they come into the shop. The parents are still, you know, buying them just as much as they were when they were younger. Following a sensitivity review by the Roald Dahl Story Company and publishers Puffin, some words in the books relating to issues including mental health, weight and gender, which could be deemed offensive, have been removed and rewritten. He keeps on putting made up words in it. Yeah. That's kind of the point, but you shouldn't be calling anybody one because that's very offensive to them. They're unique, you know, they have their own flow, he uses his own words, so I say it's all stuff like that that you have to take into consideration. I think they should probably leave the old text alone and leave it up to parents to try and put it in some sort of context. Among the changes, Augustus Gloop in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is now described as enormous instead of enormously fat. Mrs. Twit from the Twits is no longer ugly and beastly, just beastly. While where Charlie and the Chocolate Factory's Oompa Loompas were small men, they are now small people. A young reader reads with immediacy. They're reading stuff in the now. They're not coming to it and saying, well, I know this book was published in 1980 and things were a bit different and you know we wouldn't put up with that kind of stuff now. They're reading this book and they think this is a new book. Amid the controversy over the move, Puffin today announced it will now also release a classic collection of Roald Dahl's books. They will sit alongside the modern versions to allow readers to make their own choice. Fregal O'Brien, RTE News.